Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to integrate SonarCube for the OneNode project using GitLab CI/CD. So let's go. So in this session we are going to learn some topics like what is SonarCube integration for Node.js on GitLab CI/CD. After that we will see prerequisite for that project. Next one, install Node.js on Ubuntu 22.04 for LTS. Next, download and install Sonar Scanner on Linux. Next, create Sonar Project dot properties in your GitLab account. After that, we will see add Sonar Cube variables in your GitLab repository. And last one in Sonar Cube integration for Node.js project using GitLab means in that we are create the YAML file. Okay, so all these steps we are cover step by step okay so see our first point is what is sonar cube integration for node.js project so see here sonar cube is popular open source platform for continuous inspection of code quality it helps developer and team analyze and manage the technical depths in their code base identify codes mails bug and security vulnerabilities and maintain high quality software integrating sonar cube into node.js project in gitlab pipeline involves setting up automated code analysis to run whenever code changes are posed to repository this integration ensures that your code quality is continuously monitored under the pipeline section and issues are caused early in the development process next point is prerequisites so here prerequisites are ubuntu server next one hss access with pseudo privilege after that sonar cube server so let me open this browser and see this is my aws console AWS Cloud Console and here I have already launched the instance and using this public IP address using this public IP address I am using this public IP address I am connect to the mobile extreme software using session okay this is my HSS pseudo privilege okay after that here, this is my SonarCube server dashboard. And in that dashboard, I have SonarCube Java Gradle project. Okay. Only one project in this SonarCube server. After that, this is my GitLab account. And in that GitLab account, I have one repository. Its name, Integrate SonarCube for Node.js project. And here, I have few files in that repository okay after that see here in the left side bar in the settings and CICD here I have already registered the runner see here this one okay if you don't know how to register this runner I will drop link of that regarding in our description okay so let's start with first step install node.js on ubuntu 22.04 lts so firstly we have to update the all the system packages using sudo apt get update command let me copy this command and paste here okay now next step is we have to install node.js on gitlab runner instance so to add the Node.js repository to Debian best system using this cult command. So let me copy this command and paste here. So this command is not run because we have to move the root user. For that, using sudo su, we will move the root user. See here this one is root user okay now we can paste here this command 
and see it will run okay After that, we have to install the Node.js using sudo apt get install Node.js. Now you can see version of that Node.js using node space hyphen v. Here our Node.js version is 18.17.1. So next step is download and install Sonar Scanner on Linux. So for that we have to make a directory for installing the downloading the Sonar Scanner. Okay. So let me copy this command mkdir and download the Sonar Cube. This is a we will make directory inside the root. After that, we have to go inside that using cd and directory. After that, now we have to download the sonar scanner using pget command. So, see, using ls, you can see the zip file of that sonar scanner. Okay, it's in red color. Now you have to install the unzip you if you don't have. Okay, so let me copy this and I will install the unzip. Okay, now unzip file. This sonar scanner zip file, we will unzip this. After that, move this unzip file directory. Okay. So, using yumv command, we can move the zip unzip file. So, if you can see using ls, this is in blue color. This is unzip file. Okay. After that, we have to move this file. After that, we have to edit the sonar scanner properties using this. V data. Let me copy this and paste here. And uncomment these two lines sonar host URL and sonar source encoding. So save it. Okay. Now see the create file to automate require environments variable configuration so let me copy this using this way editor we can create file to automate so paste here and these two both line we have to copy and paste in way editor there it is After that, we have to use the source command to add the sonar scanner command to path variable. Now we can, you can verify the version of that sonar scanner using the sonar scanner space hyphen V. So see here, our sonar scanner version is 5.1.5.0.1. 3006 and our sonar scanner configuration file in that path okay and our linux is 5.19.0 and our java version is 17.0.7 .7. okay now you have to create sonar project property in your gitlab repository okay so see how to create this property. So firstly, you have to go the project 
overview or simply you can go inside the code section and click on repository. After that, you have to click on this and create a new file. And give the file name here. And simply, you have to space these two lines, project key and quality get wet in that properties. And save the commit changes. And you can see the property is successfully created. Okay. Now, first step is add SonarCube variable in your GitLab repository. So, see here three variables you have to add in that variable. Okay. So, first one is Sonar host URL, next Sonar login, and Sonar password. So, see here, let me copy this URL. It's a key. So, for that, you have to go inside the settings. In that setting section, click on this CSD and expand this variable. Click on this add variable and paste here key like that and enter this URL. Let me copy this. And paste in this value. Uncheck this protect variable and expand variable reference and add the variable. And you can see here If you refresh this page, And see here, Sonar post URL is successfully created. Okay. After that, you have to add the variable as a login. Okay. So, click on this again, add variable and type key. And here, you have to enter the login ID. Okay. Login ID of this Sonar cube. And uncheck this protect variable and expand variable and add this variable. So here our variable has been successfully added. Now we have to add another value variable sonar password. Click on this add variable and give here key as a sonar password and enter the password as admin123. Okay. Here, this password which you mention in that login ID, then this password you have to enter here and uncheck this protect variable and expand variable reference and add the variable. And again, third variable here successfully added. Next step is you have to create a YAML file for the SonarCube integration for Node.js project, okay? So how we can add this variable? Firstly, you have to go inside the code section and repository. After that, you have to give the name of that new file. Dot GitLab hyphen CIML and here, this code 
you have to copy and paste in the yaml file okay now see here sonar cube dash check it's a job name and it's image of that sonar scanner cli letter okay it's a sonar source sonar scanner cli and this one is enter point and we give the here variable as a sonar user home and here this is a ci project directory in which directory you have to create a variable it means it defines the location of that of the analysis task catch okay and git depth it tells to git to fetch all the branches of project required by analysis task and here mention the catchy and catchy key is ci job name means a sonar cube check and its part is sonar catchy okay and mention the script in that job as a sonar scanner this sonar source and here host url host url is our sonar server url okay and after that you here login sonar login and here mention the key as a sonar login which we mentioned the variable and password sonar password okay and this one is optional here because when you have multiple branches present that time you can use the only main branches okay this is main is the name of branch you or if you have a master branch they can you can mention the master branch after that you have to commit the changes and now you can see the pipeline so click on this pipeline and go inside that click on this sonar cube check jobs and see So see here, our job is succeeded. Okay. Now you have to go Sonar server, Sonar Cube server. And if you go inside the project and refresh this page, see here, your DevOps Sonar Cube Node.js is project we can analyze here. Okay. So if you have to go inside that project, and see here bugs, vulnerabilities, security hotspot, depth, you code smells. Okay, these these are we can analyze this code. Okay, so today's session we will learn Sonar Cube integration for Node.js project using GitLab CI/CD. So thank you for the watching video.